fantastic so we are doing a great job now now we are on the 21st topic so what is the topic selector and how do you fine tune a selector using variables and wildcards is something you are going to learn if you get a, this kind of a question which is there in your practice test if you get this kind of a question it is highly required how do you use a variable it is highly required how do you use a wildcards everything i am going to teach you in this topic and also i am going to help you with some of the key points from the documentation so let's get started so for this to experiment this what should i do first thing we will use a very simple activity called highlight okay just to experiment the selectors so drag and drop this another thing that you need is a pdf a invoice probably so invoice so do you have this kind of a pdf with you well and good if not if not let's let me tell you where exactly you can download this now to download this you have to go to uipath academy and search for the course named uh, document understanding okay search for the course document understanding scroll down there is a topic called taxonomy and below this there is something called practice adding a new document type click on it and here in this one you would find a, a practice zip okay look at this zip practice taxonomy setup zip download this inside this you have this invoice 02 pdf file there are multiple files look for this particular file so pause the video here keep it open okay so once you have the pdf file open let's move on to yapa studio and learn the rest of the things so here what i'm going to do i'm going to click on indicate on screen and here i'm going to indicate invoice wait at this stage some of you might get a prompt which will ask you to you know do a couple of go through a couple of settings for the ui path to work on work with adobe acrobat so go through that settings and once you are done then select the field okay so once you select the field what happens the ui path will take some time and capture all the required elements which are known as attributes and tags so it has got all the tags and attributes hit on the property go to the property and hit on the selector and expand this so what do you see exactly here is the all the tags and attributes right attribute a name and these are the uh, tags and then these are the values of the attribute okay so if you need a complete understanding on selectors i have a complete playlist of selectors you must go through that okay that's where it will give you a complete understanding what are selectors and how to use them but here we are very pinpointed to the preparation what i'm going to do i'm going to remove the unwanted lines from the selector and let me validate so it's it has to give it a green signal that means everything is working fine if it is not then that means something went wrong now here what what i'll do just look at this what is happening sometimes for some of the pdf files it usually happens very rare but it, it may happen that after the field name there is if you see there is a space okay let's say i'm going to remove the space and going to validate what is happening it is turning red that means i need a space so ui path will automatically decide depending on the field type and the file that you have selected okay it may happen it may not happen with you okay it is happening with me so i should not disturb that i'll leave it as it is generally it should not be the case it should be there should not be any space okay that is an exception okay so here what i'm going to do i'm going to i have to ensure so this one what this will do if you highlight this exactly highlights the invoice okay so i want it to be dynamic for me to make it dynamic what i will do i'll right click on this and click on use variable you also might get create a variable choose a variable and all that if you get that option click on create a variable so here i am getting the option use variable click on it okay fine now here what i should do i should create a variable name so let me give it a name called field name the variable name is field name default value do not touch it leave it as it is okay default value do not touch it leave it as it is and hit on confirm once this is done validate so here the green signal should come you if you are removing the default value it might give you a red signal so ensure the default value are leaving it as it is if i've already deleted redo it once again so here i am getting a green one now the important thing you must notice open the ui explorer so all this modification can also be done on the ui explorer okay i have done it here 
but I'm opening the UI Explorer now just to show you something very, very important. Okay. So when you are creating a variable, you must remember the syntax of how it is created. Okay. Look at this syntax. I'm not able to maximize this, but again, I hope you can see it. So how it is written? Look at this specific portion. So how it is written? Single quote, double quote, and the variable name. Single quote and then two double quotes and then the variable name. This is important syntax to remember. Okay. If you look at the practice question also, here also they are using. Okay. So, so if there is a single quote, that means it's wrong. It has to be always double quote with two, sorry, two, two uh, curly braces with single, uh, single quote. Okay. Two, two single quotes and this is the format. So you saw it. Okay. This must be remembered. Hit on validate. Everything is fine. So hit on save and go back to the studio and hit on ok on this prompt so now everything is ready so this if you run this it's supposed to go and highlight the invoice option okay now i'm going to talk about we created a variable how do you make it more dynamic let's say i have to use a for each loop or you know how can i select let's say i ask you you need to select invoice invoice date po due date so what is the modification you still have to do so that your workflow will continue to work on all these four fields. Okay, we'll see. So you can see it is highlighted. Okay, it has highlighted the invoice. So let's go back. So how can I do the modification to the current workflow? This is also important for us to learn. Okay, so for this, I will use a for each loop activity. Um, let me get a for each activity. Okay. And in the for each activity, what is the variable which is having that field name? Uh, we are passing it through the variable called um, field name, right? So I want this exact name. So I will copy it from here. So I don't do any spelling mistake while typing. Done. And here I am going to create a new list which is going to have the collection of all the field names. Okay. So create a uh, variable and I am going to say FIELD field name list field name uh, let me delete it create a variable f i f i oh it's not typing then f i e l d field name list okay hit on enter so now the variable has been created it's an enumerable which is nothing but collection like a list array right it's a collection okay done now what i'm going to do the fields that i see right invoice has invoice date po has what i have done i've used two curly braces like this uh, like how you create a list right and then i'm putting all this invoice has within double quote comma then invoice all the fields okay all these fields that you see then invoice uh, date then po has then due date so i have kept taken some uh, four or five examples okay uh, four four examples okay so i'm going to copy this go back to the studio and here i am going to simply paste as a default value so this list this collection is going to have all these fields now okay so what i am going to do i am going to pass this list with the for each loop and this will be carried one one value will be carried to the field name variable and i am going to simply drop the highlighted activity inside the for each loop simple okay now let's run it run this file and see if it is really going to work or not Okay, it's supposed to highlight each of it. So I fine tune the selector so that it can work on any of the field. So it has highlighted invoice. Look at it. Invoice date it has highlighted. PO has it has highlighted. Due date it has highlighted. Okay. So there is an option here, the color option. Okay. Let's say I want uh, this to highlight maybe some other color. Let's say red. Okay. That also you can try it out okay so this is uh, this is the first part okay there are also a couple of documentation uh, i'm going to move next to that documentation i'm going to talk about those things so you can see invoice date has been highlighted po has been highlighted due date so it is working on all different fields so we have successfully fine-tuned the selectors let's go to the uh, question okay so in the question always remember to read the last line this is the line which is very important how they are tweaking the question you must read the last line pretty carefully. So, in short, what is exactly asking the developer needs to fine tune the selector in order to use it for more fields. We saw that example. In the same invoice, look at it. In the same invoice, if it says different invoices, 
then in the in this title right you should use a star mark so the invoice number will keep on changing okay if if it is in the same invoice why you have to even change the name you don't have to even work on the so this words are very important on multiple invoices then star is the right answer here which would be the right answer it should have the proper name and this is the right answer okay so everything is fine uh, pdf name is because the same invoice i don't have to use a while character and here a uh, single quote field name everything is correct okay you should re properly read okay there will be small small differences and just by selecting something else you might go wrong okay be careful with the options okay and the best way is remove the odds out anything wrong take it out so if you see uh, question this is wrong if you see star this is wrong this is right but there is a star this is correct okay so that is also another way to identify the right answer now let's look at few documentation i would recommend you to go through the dynamic selector i will share this specific link uh, in the description go through this entire page how the variable is created here the format has been written okay so read through this um, pointers there is an example also given create a variable and how do you create it okay the same example we have already seen go through this page second while character okay while character star means replaces zero or more character zero also is fine okay question mark replaces a single character remember that if you have to two digits so two question marks you can use if you know this is only going to be two digits you don't use a star mark star mark if you do not know that how what what could be the set of numbers okay so based on the question based on your situation based on the question situation you have to select the appropriate one okay so go through this specific page as well i provided this in the description please do have a check so thank you guys for watching it let's move on to our next topic